Yep. So, not exactly well, but that being said, we will like going for so we've been uh, lent for workstation 35 once again. Uh, we did see people uh, sat for a rob as simple as possible on Super Plus Plus. Uh, and over the past day or two, we've had a funny alarm with uh, the light going, the light going for. Uh, we set up a miner, it doesn't really make any money or anything like that, but it's just more like to demonstrate. How it's done, uh, and obviously as you can see on screen now the light going core wallet has kicked itself off, uh, and it's rebuilt itself to maintain uh, maintain up to date with the blockchain. So we're just going to do a few little screen capture here, uh, just to show you, show you what we've done. Uh, so we download rooms, and we haven't installed it in the miners. Don't forget, there's a way of doing it, but we'll worry about it in a minute. And uh, so basically, we're just using miner D process and now the way to kick that off there's a way of kicking it off uh, from the command line or the line that's command terminal and we'll go to that there obviously you better see the username and password this is just a test the amount of bitcoin or crypto that's being mined is negligible it's not even worth about one p it's not even worth a cent or a single penny but it's just to demonstrate just to Get, get the idea out there about what all this Bitcoin mining is all about. Okay, so you see automatically the light going core wallet is kicked off. Uh, obviously, there's nothing in it, but you can send and receive. You saw it uh, build itself up, keep so up to date with the blockchain. And uh, so we're going to go ahead now and we're going to look at uh, three elements basically the light going core wallet. Uh, uh, the miner D that actually mines crypto and uh, it's from light, lightcoinpool.org lightcoinpool.org uh, where you have to have an account there to join the mining pool and we'll see how it, all, all the component parts interconnect so you have the crypto wallet you have the crypto miner uh, and you have the crypto mining pool which is a website however you log on via your web browser and uh, that allows you to have one access but the Miner D software, when you kick off the Miner D software by typing on the Linux command terminal, that also connects to it as well, but without a web browser. Okay, so all of the elements are there in place. You have a crypto miner, a central mining pool, well, like a website, in this, in this case Litecoin, and you also have a wallet as well, a Litecoin core wallet. Most people are there. So all this, when you go to Coinbase, for example, or Kraken, uh, what have you. It's all of this is kind of what's going on in the background. Obviously, a much more professional level, a paid for level. And obviously, we're just exploring it using free open source lamps to call a workstation 35. All right, so uh, you can see you bear with me, we, we, we kick that off now. So, as we saw on screen, we see the Litecoin core wallet. It has addresses and it can send and receive Litecoin. Okay, we'll have a look at the miner. Okay, so we'll go and kick off. Uh, mining, there will be some sensitive information, a username and a password pop up, however it's negligible. You obviously don't want to put that available on the internet uh, for your own security reasons. And of course, log in on uh, at lightcoinpool.org, you'll have to have your own username and password as well, so you be discreet with that as well. Uh, obviously, the amount of cryptocurrency we're talking about here is negligible, it's not even worth 1p or 1 cent, it's just more like a proof of principle. So. If you hold on wheels, we'll keep we'll keep it going. All right, let's do a double test. Just testing all the way.
Okay. Uh, so what we're seeing now, we've now started mine approving or mine D. It's going to scratch and TCP like coin like pool dot org double dot three 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 user obviously and a password. Obviously the user you're typing your user and obviously your password you're typing your password is connected and it's everything to work on killer hashes. Now killer hashes are worthless because in today's world with all that giga hashes. Uh, a thousand killer hashes make a mega hash, a thousand mega hashes make a giga hash. In all honesty, mate, to make it profitable, you need to have giga hashes there. So, not only does it need to be a thousand times more powerful, it needs to be a thousand times more powerful again. Obviously, we're just using the cheapest UK new build PC, but there's a workstation on this one. The results may be different on yours. And, and that's it, all that it does is connect to uh, Stratton at litecoinpool.org uh, obviously for those usernames and those, those details and it gets to work and it begins to go to work uh, basically so that's minor D so you dot forward slash minor D uh, space dash dash url space so Stratton TCP litecoin etc that, that's going to be url that may be different depending on where you are in the world and the user, obviously generic user, you know, generic password. And uh, whilst it's in its mind, if it doesn't find anything, as you can see, it goes to Stratton, request, give work, restart. And that's it, that's mining in a way. Uh, obviously it's not very profitable. So we've looked at the first component part, the Litecoin wallet, that kicked off automatically and kept itself up to date with the blockchain. So that's actually the Litecoin blockchain. Takes up lots of gigabytes on the disk. Uh, we've seen the second component part, minor D, which we kick off from the command line, the dot forward slash minor D, with those statistics there. It's connected to the web, got four mine threads starting, using script algorithm, and it's beginning to work. It kicked off, and these little hashes here represent work done on the blockchain. Uh, interrogating crypto certificates or whatever cryptocurrency hash algorithm and what have you. And they've got that to tell you across four threads, so four threaded PC, two core, four threads. You're getting all in, maybe five, four, five, four, eighteen, maybe eighteen to twenty killer hashes a second. That really needs to be giga hashes a second for it to be profitable. In which case you would expect to mine about, I don't know, about 89 quid a day of worth of Litecoin. Okay, uh, and I'm kind of hoping that's all going to come up now where you can see it actually find a reward, a piece of crypto. In this case, it's Litecoin, uh, LTC. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at the third component part. Okay, thank you for bearing with me guys. Okay, so now we can see uh, litecoinpool.org, as you can see there's well, the username and password, and you can see the queue needs zero killer, killer hashes a second, provided we're in order and off for about 24 hours maybe in the background, or the past day or two, we already kicked it off over the weekend, there's something to do, uh, and there you go, that's all it does, it goes to the website, it gets the blockchain, it does the computation on the local computer, and if it finds anything, it goes yay, and get a little bit of Bitcoin or crypto. You can see we've made, if you look in the top right hand corner of Litecoin, litecoinpool.org, we've made 0 0.000322 Litecoins. Uh, basically, one Litecoin, as it says there, is about 100 US dollars. So a tenth of a Litecoin, that's a third of zero after the decimal place, is worth $10. 
I think this is the last coin's worth a dollar, a thousandth of a lot coin's worth ten cents. Ten thousandth of a lot time is, is worth a cent. So as you can see, we're not even half a cent, we're not even a quarter of a cent, we're not even a tenth of a cent of US dollars worth of uh, light coin manufactured or mined at present. However, if you have a big powerful computer, it may work out for you. However, this is just uh, Dolph Guinness's the cheapest UK built PC. We, we built it for 225 quid, uh, all in, brand new. Uh, yeah, you can see the miner, it just mines away, and that's it, that's all it does. Uh, it stores three components. There's an area where we put a Bitcoin address into it or a Litecoin address on the litecointool.org and once you've made uh, about 10 US dollars worth of Litecoin it will post it to you and it will be received right to your computer inside of your Litecoin wallet. I might actually send some Litecoin over just to see it working, uh, uh, how it receives it, sends and receives, works on the blockchain. So yeah, there we go. Uh, so as you can see, that's that's it basically. Uh, obviously we've just turned it on, we were supposed to leave it on 24 7 365, but in this case you can see it's not worth the electricity. We did the math, it'd probably take about 25,000 days to make about $100 worth. Of Litecoin uh, using this computer, which means that in like what 25,000 days' time, if the price of Litecoin is at a billion US dollars, then it's a profitable enterprise. Highly unlikely, that's a bit of a, a little bit of an overhang. That one was a bit of a tall order, uh, but it's kind of the same for everything from Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Lite, etc. It kind of depends on these three component parts interacting with each other. Now I know the Linux command line is a way of uh, installing all of this and getting it to kick off automatically. No, I have no idea, basically. So we had a go where if you look previously on the channel, we have the C++ ASAP program, C++ as simple as possible. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the uh, build storage coin from source. Of course, we failed on that because uh, we, we just couldn't get it to build. We had the Linux Fedora Workstation 35 as well, so this is what we're doing the podcast on in a minute. Hopefully the audio sorted uh, and we can get on with it. it uh, there's not much action going on, but occasionally you get a yay, which means that the uh, number of LTC uh, is just underneath the price, 101 US dollars, that will go up a little bit. And as all it does, scratch and request is work restart. That means the uh, winder goes goes on to the next part of the blockchain to do the uh, cryptography uh, algorithm and do the work so I can hopefully discover some uh, Litecoin whatever, um, or whatever Bitcoin, Dogecoin etc in that area of work in um, which case if you do you get issued a reward so we won this we maybe put about 24 hours in it maybe a bit more as we've made, as you can see, only 322 millions of Litecoin, not even one tenth of a cent, basically. So, obviously, we have, need to run it 10 times to make one cent. So, if we're to run this computer solid now for the next 20 days, we may have made one US cent worth of Litecoin. So, as we bear in mind the mathematical probability, the price of it could go up or down. Uh, and also, as well, the rewards on uh, uh, they're not you don't get an equal reward every time. You get a, a piece of the reward. Sometimes it's a small piece, and how it goes up total. Sometimes it's quite a big piece. And and I've been told on the rarest of occasions, it's a big chunk as well. So you actually make a it just basically based on sheer randomness or wherever you are in the queue. Now, as you can see, it, it says users uh, fifteen thousand four hundred ninety six users. There's another 15,496 machines working on the same cryptographic problem. There you go. As you can see, there, 1 over 1, 100%, 70.71 kHash. I'll just widen the screen and say, hold on. And of course, you see a little yay there on the uh, 
mine would be from online. We've got three two two on the wallet. We may not be big enough to up it or give it a boost. You can see our speed is up at one thousand nine hundred and seventy four kilohashes, which basically in today's world is the if I run this solid for the next ten days, I might I might make one US cent. Basically, so if I run it for a hundred days, I might I might make ten US cents. If I run it for a thousand days, I might make a US dollar. So basically, if I've got this running for the next three years, I may make about one US dollar worth of cryptocurrency in Litecoin. However, if the price of Litecoin goes to a billion US dollars or something like that, I'll be a millionaire. So, however. The, as you can see, speed would be to 550.1 kh. If that was 550.1 gigahash, uh, you could quite possibly do 100,000 US dollars in a 24 hour period, basically. However, the computational power uh, and the electricity bill to achieve that is uh, a bit beyond the basic materials project. Now, so we've, we've increased our LTC to 323 LTC, so I think that's 323. Hundred million for the Litecoin, and our speed is boosted a little bit to three six eight seven k. I can see how you're completely and utterly addicted and uh, obsessive compulsive. How crypto mining could be could be the uh, industry for you to get involved in. So let's see that it's always always evolving. So it's new, it's always changing. Of course, we'd have to run this for several decades before we trigger the automatic payment. Before it's even sends us payment. Basically, because it, it doesn't send payments, you know, until they've reached a certain amount. Uh, and again, so it's a user's 15,515, 514, it was a major drop off, feels like it works for else. Uh, and of course, you can keep adding computers as well to, uh, to the uh, litecoinpool.org, so we have an ad worker. So in a similar way, we kick things off. Obviously, you need your own account at litecoinpool.org. And the two packages I'll just show you quickly on top. So the two bundles you need are Pool Dash CP Miner Dash 2.5.1 Dash Linux 8664 RGZ. And the uh, that's the pool of CP line and the Litecoin 0181866489GNUSRGZ. Of course, you just right click them and extract. So that's easy, easy to do with them. Also, doing the command line terminal inside of the folder, after you double click the folder and go into the pool of CP line folder, you can see the blue diamond shape. And if you remember at the beginning, we just uh, right clicked, opened up a command terminal, and typed in the necessary username and password. If you remember at the beginning of the video, and you're away. Really, the Litecoin QT. You've got to do the same for Litecoin dash QT as well on the other bundle. Uh, should be should be easy to be able to handle that itself. All right, then, so that's this net latest for the best materials project of Monday. Don't know what we'll do uh, for the rest of the week. I suppose we've got a little of work to get back on. But, right, if you could like and subscribe, we can perhaps go live. We get our subscribers up to a thousand subscribers. Uh, and that's it, really. Hopefully, the audio is slowly. Alright then, until next time.